Corey here, the art archaeologist. So we're back again with another dried and ironed kit. Now this one, I wanted to do a large pumpkin spice eight and a half by 11 inch sheet kit. So I went ahead and did it and I used mostly sunshine orange for this kit. I probably used like half of this bottle and then 10% of the dark brown. In hindsight, I wish I would have added a little bit more of the dark brown because it came out really bright orange and not quite enough brown for my taste. So this one is gonna be um, pumpkin spice. I think it's gonna be three, I'm not sure, but it will be in the description box below. So I will get that all figured out. And by the time you see this, it'll be ready to go and good to go. So here's the watercolor sheets that I used to sandwich the whole kit. And these came out really, that really nice burnt orange color I was looking for. I'm looking for this everywhere. This is even kind of a deep red, but um, this is really nice too. I really wanted some of this darker stuff here and didn't get a whole lot of it. This kit actually came out pretty bright, but it's still beautiful. Here's the other side of the watercolor paper. I had a bunch of flowers, just a, I didn't have a bunch. I had a few flowers left in the end. So I went ahead and did um, this really fun little page with tree branches kind of acting like the stems. I was just playing around with the composition a bit. And then this is the other watercolor sheet and it came out a lot lighter. I mean, it is just amazing the differences in color that you can get. And this is the same paper as that. So here's some more of that burnt orange that I really like. And then here's a little aspen tree sprig of aspen leaves. And they just print so beautifully. So if you can get your hands on aspen leaves, I really invite you to use those. Now this is all cans and mixed media paper in this kit here. So I've got a few flowers strewn in here. I'm kind of getting away from the flowers a little bit more and more. Um, I love them, but I love the feathers and the leaves too. So I don't always want them all together. Here's another feather, a couple of them in this sheet. And of course you get your mirror images throughout the kit. Here, this has been happening lately in my little kits here. This little tiny aspen leaf got caught between these leaves and the paper and it did this really fun little outline. So very happy little thing that happened there. The flower petals came out really neat on this page. And then look at these grungy aspen leaves. I really love how those came out. You get this really bland kind of old um, late autumn brown in here um, mixed in with this really beautiful rust rich orangey rust color oh i just really like how these aspen leaves came out and that's the fun of using the dye you just don't know what it's gonna how it's gonna react with the leaves and what's gonna happen with it. It really danced beautifully with the alum spray too, I've noticed in this kit. So a lot of fun little happy surprises going on here too. Here's the mirror image. 
of this page. So I'm pretty sure. Yep. So the color is very different. It's much more muted on this Cats and Mixed Media than it is the watercolor. But both pages just have such um, happy little surprises for me anyway. <laughs> I love that you get the mirror images all throughout the kit too. And then here's the mirror image of these feathers. And then these are both Canson, which look at this amazingness. You really got a lot of color variation and these are both Canson. So I think something that does happen as well is I think this page was probably face up on the bottom and this page was face down on the top just like so because sometimes the dye leaches down from the page uh, while it's cooking, you know, and while it's waiting to be cooked. So I think that that has something to do with the intensity of the pages. So it's really funny, and I have said this in another video because I did a whole batch of these. Again, I did five kits all together, and um, I did not cook them together because they were all different color families, but I did them all in the same day, and boy was I a hurting woman by the end of that day. But I was celebrating, I was talking about how I was celebrating, oh, I got all my eco kits done for the season, and I'm done, yay, hallelujah. Well, then I came up and thought up two other color combos <laughs> that I really want to do, and I got the paper ready. This is just this is so typical of me, you know. Uh, I think I'm done, and then here I am again. So I've got the paper ready. I've got the 8.5 by 11 inch Canson mixed media paper ready. And I'm doing, actually, I think I'm going to be doing 8 of the big ones. And then I'm going to, of course, sandwich these in watercolor. But these are going to be the final kits, and I'll be sure to tell you when that happens. And I'm going to fold these in half so that we can get the mirror image on the same page. And I really want the full sheets for uh, journal pages. So <laughs> I thought I was done, but those of you who love eco dye, yay you, you get two more kits. <laughs> and I don't know what order, I'm filming all these today, the reveals. So whatever order these come in, I, I've got five of these and um, two more after this come in. So you'll know, cause I will give you a hint. Both of the last kits are going to have teal in them and they're both gonna be folded. So if you haven't subscribed yet, there's my teaser for you. Please subscribe by all means. So here's some more. I've got a lot of that burnt orange in this page really a fun page. Um, I like that pumpkin spice name. This just speaks pumpkin spice to me and I love autumn. It's my favorite season. I had put out that little video of snow in September. We got a snowstorm in September, which never happens. And uh, I was really worried that we weren't gonna have an autumn at all because I figured that the freeze and the snow would just, lots of times it makes the leaves of course just turn brown and fall off the trees and you get no autumn. Well, we had a stunning autumn this year and we're at the tail end of it. It's been very windy lately, so, and, but it was a very quick autumn, but I'm really happy because I got to see all the beautiful leaves. I did not get to hike this year. Uh, I had to put all of my hiking off because of all the smoke from the fires in California and here in Colorado. So um, had to put that off and just been praying for everybody who's really even more affected by those. So hopefully, and they're still going. I'm really hoping for some rain or snow or any kind of moisture we can get. But here's a couple of these Aspen tree sprigs. I really love putting these in and like I've said before, you know, the stems are three-dimensional so they can definitely interfere with some of your leaf prints, but at the same time, look at how beautiful this is. You get this explosion of leaves. 
all attached to the beautiful little stem. So I like doing that. And then I showed you this. Oh, so pretty. And then here's my beautiful black maple. And another thing I'm pretty happy about with this uh, pumpkin spice kit, these come out um, so dark purple that they come across either really dark purple or black. And I'm actually kind of glad that this these came out um, black instead of dark purple. I just think it goes a little better with this kit. And don't get me wrong, I love orange and purple together. But I just really like the grunginess of these leaves here with against that um, burnt orange background. So fun. The alum is so fun too. Here's the mirror image of that page. See all the little spotting and dotting everywhere. That's the dye mixing with the alum water. I love to use alum water. I didn't use anything at first. I didn't use vinegar. I didn't use alum. Then I started using vinegar. Then I added alum and now I use vinegar and alum every kit all the time without doubt those have to be used. I use the vinegar in the bath because it helps bind the dye to the paper and I use the alum. I spray all the pages with alum before I put the dye in the leaves down to further help the dye and all of the uh, dyes from the botanicals to adhere to the paper as well. Plus you get the added bonus of the, the grungy spatter happening. So here is this mirror image page. And again, just so fun. And these two came out almost identical in color. And um, here you can see some variation in the leaves like you usually see. But the color is almost right on the money, which I rarely, rarely see that. So very fun to get that mirror image. And then here's this beautiful stem. This the stem was more prominent on this side of this leaf sprig because you can just see quite a bit more of it than you can in here. So just fun little details like that and the detail of the veining in this little aspen leaf. It's really windy and I've got my windows open so if you can hear my wind chime, I hope it's not bothering you. <laughs> It is really loud right now because we've got some gusty wind happening. So here's a couple of the flowers left. I, I think I'm going to... I'm going to do a little bit of flowers next year, but I think I'm going to get away from these and try to do more wild flowers. And I'm sure I'll add baby's breath too. So next season, in case you haven't seen any of the videos that I've been talking about it, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be hunting up different species of leaves and I'm also going to really stick to natural dyes, spinach water, avocado um, dyed water. I'm going to try a bunch of different things. So uh, I really do invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet so you can check in with all that next season. But in the meantime, we're going to be doing journals and I, I want to do a lot of collage art with these eco dyes this winter. So that's the plan. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Here's the last page of this pumpkin spice large eco die. So if you want to do some really beautiful autumn journals, there's still plenty of autumn left this year. Today is October 14th. This won't come out for a little bit longer, but um, you can get these. The link is below and I will have the title with the link. And I am so glad as always that you stopped by to check this out and I will see you real soon. Have a great day.